So do you want to always be effective in your growing relationship with Jesus Christ? Well, as we begin our study in 2 Peter, he tackles that very issue so that we'll always be effective concerning our relationship with Christ. And we'll find out what that is in just a moment. Hi, I'm Pastor Jeremy Bannister of Heights Christian Church, and we're going through the Bible in five years period of time. If it's always been a goal of yours to go through the Word of God, we invite you on this journey with us by subscribing to our channel and clicking the bell for notifications. You're going to receive a devotional much like this one. We'll read just a little bit of the scripture together and pull one thing from it to help us be more like Jesus. Well, as we begin our study in 2 Peter, uh, Peter kind of hits on this idea of being effective in our faith. Uh, his first epistle seemed to be very much focused on, on not being like the world. This epistle starts us for saying, how can we be effective in our faith moving forward? Not just avoiding the world, but doing the things that God wants us to do. And I think we're going to be surprised on where it sends us. So let's take a look at it together as we begin our study. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who through the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ have received a faith as precious as ours, grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Through these, he has given us his very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature, having escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. For this reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, mutual affection and a mutual affection, love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But whoever does not have them is nearsighted and blind, forgetting that they've been cleansed from their past sins. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and election. For if you do these things, you will never stumble and you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know what's interesting to me is that as we look at the qualities that Peter says will make us, uh, will, that will prevent us from being ineffective and unproductive in our relationship with Jesus Christ, we don't have a lot of things that we're supposed to do. In other words, there's not a lot of actions. What they are are attitudes. Uh, we, we are told that we're supposed to add to our faith, our belief in Jesus Christ, goodness, which will work itself out in works, but we're to add to that goodness knowledge, which is a knowledge of, of the Word of God and our Lord Jesus Christ, to our knowledge, self-control to our self-control perseverance. In other words, not just self-controlling ourselves one time, but doing it again and again and again over time and persevering and staying true to this message of Christ over and over again. And to perseverance, godliness. To godliness, mutual affection. And to mutual affection, love. These are things that we're supposed to be doing in increasing measure in our lives. Notice what it doesn't say. Helping old ladies across the street. Uh, doing lots of good things for the poor. Those things, if our attitudes are growing in these ways, faith, goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, mutual affection, love, it will work itself out in the works that God wants us to do because we'll be mindful of him in all that we're doing. This is what Peter is talking about, that, that the things that we're working on are the things inside of ourselves that we're adding to these attitudes, attitudes that will allow for us to do the things that God wants us to do. So we might help an old lady across the street, but we're going to do so because our attitude reflects the attitude of God in our life. As a matter of fact, he says, anybody who doesn't have these attributes is nearsighted and has forgotten 
what, that they've been cleansed from their past sins. In other words, it starts inside the heart and through our attitudes, and it works itself out in the actions that we do because of those attitudes. So what Peter is saying is that we have to, on the inside, being, being more and more conformed to Jesus so that we'll know what to do on the outside. This is what will cause us to never be ineffective or unproductive in our faith. So that means we're constantly working on ourselves, right? We're working on our faith. We're working on our goodness. We're working on our self-control, our perseverance, our mutual affection for one another, our godliness, our love for one another. Because in doing so, we're actually changing the inner man to be more like Jesus so that we'll recognize the type of works he wants us to do on the outside. So my prayer to you and me is to recognize where are we at? What do we need to grow in? What are some of these attributes here that we need more of? And how do we dive in to know Christ better by working on those attributes in our life with the help of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior? Doing that will help us not be unproductive or ineffective in our faith in Jesus Christ. And isn't that our goal as believers? I pray that that's something you will know what to work on and I'll know what to work on in increasing measure so that we can be more like Jesus on the inside and as a result, be more like Jesus on the outside as well. God bless you. I hope that helps. And we'll talk with you again tomorrow.